Hello and welcome. Uh, this video is about daisy wheel printing technology in general and the Diablo High Type 2 printer in particular. At the end there will be a demonstration using the restore printer for printing ASCII art. Diablo was founded in 1969 by some ex freedom employees. The aim was to make disk drives and printers. Already in 1972 the company was bought by Xerox. The idea was to compete with the IBM Selectric by using fewer parts and thus make it not only more reliable but also faster. The reading and high type more than doubled the speed of the Selectric, printing 30 characters per second. The picture showed the second generation high type 2, which achieved printing speeds up to 45 characters per second. Daisy wheel printing was well known by the end of the 60s. But what Diablo did was to perfect the technology. Dr. Andrew Gabor was the man who created a server control system to precisely position the wheel and the carriage before the actual printing took place. He was awarded two patents for this invention. On Wikipedia, one can read that daisy wheel printing uh, was invented by David Lee. But according to my sources, this is wrong. David Lee started working for Diablo when the invention was already done in 1971. He later resigned from Diablo and started Cube, who also manufactured daisy wheel printers. Diablo sued Cube for patent infringement, but settled on a license agreement whereby Cube paid a royalty to use the technology. The glyphs of the daisy wheel is organized so that the letter E is the home position of the wheel. Then the glyphs are ordered according to the relative frequency of the letters in the alphabet. I first got this printer with some old logic I w made word processing system my father brought home in my youth back in the mid 80s. The only thing that survived from that time was this printer which had since then been stored under quite dusty conditions. Now it was time to make up for the ill treatment. First priority was to clean it up. The printer was disassembled into pieces removing old grease and dust. The really rusty parts was treated by the rust remover to make them nice again. The electronic design is somewhat interesting. All the movements of this printer is synchronized by a small microprogrammed controller. Then starting to testing out things, was the power supply really behaving well after 40 years in storage? Well, yes it actually did. Then everything was reassembled. New lithium grease and PTFE oil was applied to all moving parts. Time to fire it up. Not an immediate success, actually. Three tantalum capacitors gone short circuit immediately. Uh, then I also recognized that most of the carbon composite, composite resistors had increased in value. Several had changed 50% or more. The Diablo printer interface is nothing like other printers using the good old Centronics interface. No. In this printer, the computer can control the wheel, the carriage and the paper feed independently. There are strobe signals to latch 12-bit value. 
The value signifies the glyph to print, the amount of horizontal moment in one one hundred twentieth of an inch and the vertical moment in one fourth eighth of an inch. When the printer has completed an operation, it will respond back with a ready signal. To make it possible to talk to a modern computer, a small circuit board was designed. It used a very hand little ready-made SDM32 based microcontroller and some level converters. Then a small program was developed using the Arduino tools. One big advantage with DaisyWheel printers over, for example, laser printers is that it is an impact printing technology while still printing letter quality. It can print multi-part forms. This made it quite useful for printing legal documents and forms. While at Princeton as an undergraduate student between 1970 and 1974, S.P. Harbison experimented with ASCII art. He used negative film, which was scanned in a densitometer, a process that took 15 to 30 minutes. Then he used the Fortran program on the IBM mainframe to convert it to letter patterns. The result was then printed on a chain printer. Here we unfortunately don't have access to a chain printer, so we use our newly restored and working daisy wheel printer. It is not at all as fast as the chain printer. The full picture takes 28 minutes to print. Here you see the resulting print, not that bad, isn't it? Here you have a close-up of the cat's eye. Okay, thank you very much for uh, watching this short video.